Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Nope Pramitri and I am from PB8 class. So, I want to explain about materials vowel sound in English. Okay, in improving English skills, it is very important to see the sound of English vowels so that phonetician William Sun categories two vowels in English, namely simple vowels and complex vowels. What is a simple vowel sound? Okay, simple vowel sounds are sounds made Base speakers and produce vowels without moving the speech organs, so that their position does not change. For example, sit, get, paint, arm, cup, about, pearl, cook, spoon, pot, and call. What are complex vowels? Okay, complex vowel sounds are sounds formed by the combination of two vowels in one syllable. And in producing complex vowel sounds, the speaker's mouth shape changes. For example, here, chair, tower, pray, fike, voice. And slow. After that, there are two categories of vowel sounds with respect to the elevation of the tongue found in American English and British English. The front vowels of American English and British English. The front vowel is articulated by pushing in the tongue and lifting. It upwards and the lips are not circular. There are four types of front vowel, namely first high front and rounded vowel. This type pronounces with three characteristics, namely the highest elevation of the tongue is made in front of the mouth and the lips are not rounded. For example, lips. Second, mid-high front and rounded. This type is pronounced with three characteristics. Namely, the tongue is slightly lowered, made a little closer to the front, and the lips are not rounded. For example, hit. And the last, mid low front and rounded. This type is also pronounced with three characteristics, namely made with an elevation of the mid low tongue and the lips are not rounded. For example, the word have. Next, central vowels at American English and British English. Okay, the American English and British English central vowels are made by positioning the tongue in the middle between the front and back vowels and are pronounced by placing the tongue down and back. Central vowels in American English There are two types of vowels used by native American English speakers, namely First, mid-central and rounded neutral vowel this vowel is made in three ways, namely pronounced by raising the middle tongue position and is used to articulate this vowel and the shape of the lips which are not rounded. And this vowel is called a short vowel, for example, a bowel. Second, low central and rounded vowel. This vowel is made in three ways, namely placing the tongue in a low position, 
articulating it using the middle of the tongue and forming the lips which are not rounded these vowels are known as short vowels for example cut and money central vowels in British English okay there are two types of vowel used by native British English speakers namely first mid-central unrounded vowel okay mid-central unrounded vowels are then articulate in three ways namely by the elevating the tongue in the middle and are used to produce this vowel and the safe of the lips in round when used these vowels are called long vowels for example the words pain and burn next back vowel this vowel is produced with the back of the tongue which is raised toward the velum. there are five kinds of back vowel sounds namely first high back rounded vowel this vowel is made in three ways namely lifting of the tongue to a high position raising the back on the tongue in the direction of the velum, and forming rounded lips these vowels are called long and short vowels for example the words mood and food second mid high back rounded vowel these vowels are produced in three ways namely placing the tongue in a slightly down position using the back of the tongue and forming round lips these vowels are called short vowels for example the words good and look third mid back rounded vowel this vowel is made three ways namely the tag the tongue is raised in the middle position the back of the tongue is direction towards the velum, and the shape of the lips is rounded these vowels are called short vowels for example the words how and mal for unrounded vowel the vowels are made in three ways namely the tongue is in a low position the back of the tongue is direct to close the velum and the unrounding sound on the lips. These vowels are called short vowels in American English and long vowels on British English. For example, palm and calm. And the last, low back rounded vowel. These vowels are articulated with rounded lips and include short vowel such as a lot and want okay next I will discuss about complex vowels okay a complex vowel sound is a combination of a simple first vowels and a second simple vowels the combination are first the formation of a deep tongues in American English and British English. There are three deep tongues that can be articulated, namely the simple vowels combination A produced with deep tongue AT, like the words may and rest. The simple vowel combination a produce dipton a like the words ice and fine and last simple vowels combination o produce diptongs such as uh, the word oil voice and noise
okay the formation of you diphthongs in American English and British English the combinations are the simple combination of vowels a and two o result in a diphthongs a u for example about the simple vowels combination o and the second u and produce diphthongs for example note and the last the formation of a a diphthongs in British English is a combination of three simple diphthongs namely vowels not round from middle high vowels not round from middle low and round vowels high mid back okay guys this is my explanation about materials vowel sounds in English I hope you can understand and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh See you